Hey guys, how's it going? This is Herbert Yuba. In this video, I'm going to show you how you work out the second problem uh, in the June 2020 Paper 1 Advanced Level Paper, okay? So, the second question it says, uh, find the value of k for which the line kx plus k minus 2y plus 10 equal to 0 is parallel to this other line here, which is 3x plus 2y minus 16 equal to 0. Okay, so you, you want to find the value of k which satisfies the, that condition. So the, the buzzword here or the buzz phrase or the important part of this uh, question is that these two lines here, they are, they are parallel. And then what, what we know about parallel lines is that the gradient is the same. Okay, so uh, gradient is the same. So it's the same gradient for the, for the two lines. So if we can realize the gradient for the first line and realize the gradient for the second line, we can actually equate and then from there, we'll be able to find the value for the value of K, okay? So this is what we, we're actually going to uh, do right now. Uh, here, what, what, what we want to do, what we want to achieve uh, to make the gradient clear is to get to a state where you have X, Y equal to MX plus C. This is the uh, general equation of a, of a straight line, okay? So this is the general equation of a, of a straight line. And if we can uh, attain this, then we can just say M is, M, that's what, that would be a gradient, okay? So we want to uh, realize the same for the, for the uh, two lines that we have. So the, for, the, for the first line, I'm actually going to uh, skip a step a bit and actually try to arrange it as fast, as quickly as possible. So you get uh, K minus two here, uh, y equal to, then you, uh, the kx would be going to the other side, so you get negative kx here, then minus 10 obviously, because this one is going to this side. So let me, let me actually show you. So this kx is going to this side, and this plus 10, it's also going to the side, okay? So whenever the, the, uh, the two skip, um, when, whenever a number skips uh, an equal sign becomes, it flips, the sign flips, okay? It becomes positive. It, if it were negative, it becomes negative if it were positive. So that's, that's what we just applied here. And now we're just going to divide throughout by, by k minus 2. You get, uh, this one was supposed to be kx, obviously. So you get negative k, k minus 2 like this, then x minus 10 over k minus 2 like this, okay? So here the gradient, uh, it's equal to, it's equal to the coefficient, which is this part here, okay? We're also going to do the same thing for the next, for the uh, next equation here. So this one would be 2y equal to, I'm, I'm going to uh, push over, I'm going to push over this one to the side, and this one to the side, okay? So what I get at the end of the day is 2y equal to uh, negative 3x plus, plus 16, okay? I'm going to divide throughout by, by 2, so I get y equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 8, like this, okay? So now equating, equating gradients, you can, you can even say equating gradients, actually writing it, it's still fine. Equating the gradients. So you want to equate the gradients, you have the following, okay? So equating, by equating the gradients, you have k, negative k, uh, k minus 2 like this is equal to negative 3 over 2, okay? So you, you're taking uh, these gradients here. You can actually show them that this is the gradient, this is the gradient, okay? So you can actually write it down as well. Uh, that, that would be fine, okay? But then here we're going to solve this equation. So you can you can start, start by uh, cross-multiplying. You can get rid of the uh, negatives, obviously, because they, they can cancel. This negative, this negative here, it belongs to uh, this whole fraction, so it's good for us, okay? So it can cancel with this. Uh, negative here. So here I'm going to cross multiply, I get 2k equal to, I'm going to cross multiply again, I get 3k minus minus 2 here. Don't forget your brackets, you can actually do uh, the step directly to just straight up say uh, this is 3k minus minus 6, okay? So you could, you could also do this, but then it's fine, Let, let's uh, just follow the procedure and you know, uh, put our brackets here and then expand in the next step. And then what we're going to do is to have uh, this 2, 2k here, uh, visit the other one on the, on the, on this side, so that we can avoid negatives, okay? It's not very important, but then it's, um, it's kind of good practice. So here you, you have k equal to what? k equal to 6. 
because here you'd have uh, 3k minus minus 2k which is equal to k then equal to uh, 6k like this so that's essentially the the value for for k uh, and then you can also uh, proceed to to the next part the next part what does it say next part says find the gradient of the perpendicular to both lines okay so for perpendicular uh, lines you can you can say for perpendicular lines Okay, so mn equal to negative 1. If you use this, this is standard uh, uh, presentation format, okay? So they would understand that m and n, they are gradients. But then if you want, you can also define the same, okay? But then it's not very important. And um, once once you're done with this part, what you do is to proceed now to say, uh, since this 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 one, the, the gradient for uh, this one, it's obviously uh, negative, negative uh, 3 over 2 here, okay? Because we knew, we knew it from, from this previous part here. So you can say m equal to negative 3 over 2. So we want to find n. So it would be negative 3 over 2. Then n equal to negative 1 like this. So obviously you can, you can multiply both sides by. Uh, you can multiply both sides by negative 2 over 3 by negative 2 over 3. So you get n equal to. This one's the cancel, and then also the negatives the cancel. Same same thing with this side or with this side as well. The negatives they cancel, and then you get two over three at the end of the day. Okay, so that's just about it. This is how you uh, work out this problem. If you have any questions, obviously put them in the comment section. If you have any suggestions or any anything that you want to add or anything in any way that you think maybe we could have um, uh, done a better, if you if you have an alternative way of working out the same problem. We are welcoming those ideas as well. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Yuba out.